What happens when machines make the choice to kill? Not a human soldier, not a commanding officer, but an algorithm. Right now, the world's most powerful nations are racing to hand over the power of life and death to artificial intelligence. These are not just weapons, these are autonomous killers. AI weapons, sometimes called lethal autonomous weapon systems, are machines capable of selecting and engaging targets without human input. Unlike a missile that requires a launch command or a rifle that requires a trigger, these systems can detect, decide, and destroy on their own. The terrifying shift is this. Once a weapon can decide who lives and who dies, human morality leaves the battlefield. At their core, AI weapons rely on algorithms trained to identify patterns, faces, vehicles, uniforms, even behaviors. Using neural networks and swarm intelligence, they can track hundreds of targets simultaneously, predicting movements before humans can react. It's not science fiction, it's basic computer vision, and purposed for war. This isn't theoretical. The battlefield has already seen autonomous weapons at work. Reports from a UN Security Council panel revealed a Turkish-made Cargo 2 drone may have autonomously hunted down fighters during the Libyan civil war. If true, this marks the first recorded case of AI deciding to kill. Israel has long used autonomous drones that loiter in the sky, searching for enemy radar signals. The Harpy and Harop can destroy air defenses without human approval, making split-second kill decisions. During Syria's war, Russia deployed the Uran-9, an unmanned robotic tank armed with cannons and missiles. The system proved unreliable, but its very presence signaled Russia's commitment to autonomy. The U.S. Air Force's Loyal Wingman program envisions fleets of AI-controlled fighter jets flying alongside or instead of human pilots. In 2020, an AI defeated a veteran F-16 pilot in a simulated dogfight. The message was clear. Humans are no longer the best in the sky. Every year, the list grows longer. From South Korea's autonomous border turrets to China's drone swarms, the race is global and unstoppable. The promise of AI weapons is speed, efficiency, and dominance. But the dangers are chilling. Danger one, civilian casualties. AI can't understand context. A child carrying a toy gun might look like a combatant. A camera glitch could label civilians as threats. Once launched, these mistakes cannot be undone. Danger two, hacking and cyber warfare. An autonomous drone swarm could be hijacked by enemy hackers. Imagine thousands of killer drones turned against their own side or unleashed on a civilian city. Danger three, Escalation AI fights at machine speed. Wars could unfold faster than humans can respond. One false alarm, one miscalculation, and full-scale conflict could erupt before diplomats even pick up the phone. Danger four, lack of accountability. If a robot commits a war crime, who's responsible? The commander, the programmer, or no one? The laws of war were written for humans. Machines don't follow them. Despite the risks, nations are accelerating toward an AI arms race the U.S. Pentagon funding billions in autonomous projects, China's investment in drone swarms and AI-guided missiles, Russia's robotic tanks and AI fighter pilots, smaller nations buying ready-made drones on the global arms market. The fear is simple. If one nation hesitates, another won't. Just like nuclear weapons, the race itself becomes inevitable. The age of autonomous killers has already begun, but part one was only the beginning of the story. What comes next is darker, more complex, and far more dangerous. This is the next phase of AI warfare, the future war that no one is ready for. What we know publicly is only the surface. Beneath the headlines, secret AI weapons programs are being developed in hidden labs and classified facilities. AI weapons aren't just built for war zones. They're creeping into policing, border security, and domestic surveillance. The line between military and civilian use is disappearing. And when AI decides who is a criminal, who is a protester, and who is a threat, civil liberties vanish in the crossfire. The most frightening AI weapon isn't a single drone or a single robot tank. It's the swarm. How swarms work, decentralized AI allowing thousands of machines to act as one. Examples, China's record-breaking drone swarm tests. Potential uses, overwhelming missile defenses, hunting submarines, blacking out entire cities. The real nightmare begins when AI weapons merge with cyber warfare. Imagine drones that don't just bomb cities, but shut them down. Power grids offline, banks hacked, hospitals paralyzed. Then the attack comes. It's not just destruction, it's domination. Machines attacking both the physical and digital world at once. 
One of the greatest unanswered questions, who controls the kill switch? If AI weapons are unleashed, can anyone stop them? Failsafes can be hacked. Nations may hide backdoors in their weapons. Rogue actors could reprogram captured drones. A weapon with no off switch isn't just a danger to enemies, it's a danger to everyone. The spread of AI weapons may be impossible to contain. Just like the AK-47, cheap autonomous killers could flood black markets. Not just nations, but cartels, militias, and even lone actors could acquire swarms of deadly machines. War, terrorism, assassination, all could be automated. Part one revealed the birth of AI weapons. Part two exposes where they're headed. A future where wars are faster, bloodier, and fought entirely by machines. The only question that remains is this. Will humanity ban these killers before it's too late? Or will we hand the future of war to machines and never get it back? Since the dawn of civilization, war has been the greatest driver of technological progress. Empires have risen and fallen not just by courage or numbers, but by the tools they wielded. From sharpened stones to nuclear fire, human innovation has been tested, accelerated, and weaponized on the battlefield. This is the story of how war shaped technology and how technology reshaped war. Long before nations, armies, or kings, humans discovered that survival meant innovation. The first weapons were not built for battlefields, but for the hunt. The sharpened stick, the hand axe, the bow and arrow, each breakthrough gave early humans an edge. But these tools quickly took on a darker purpose. Conflict between tribes soon turned weapons of survival into weapons of war. By 3000 BCE, bronze marked humanity's first great arms race. Stronger than stone, sharper than wood, bronze weapons transformed warfare. The Bronze Age saw the rise of organized armies. Chariots thundered across battlefields. Metal armor protected warriors. And for the first time, entire civilizations fell to the technology of war. But bronze was expensive, rare, and fragile. Around 1200 BCE, a stronger material emerged from fire and forge, iron. Cheap, durable, and abundant, iron weapons spread across the ancient world. The sword, the spear, and the shield became symbols of power. With iron, empires expanded, and warfare became global. In the ancient world, innovation was not just about weapons, but about strategy. The Greeks perfected the phalanx, a wall of spears and shields that could crush any frontal assault. The Persians built massive armies sustained by logistical innovation. The Romans engineered war on an industrial scale, supplying legions with standardized weapons, armor, and siege machines. The catapult, the ballista, and the trebuchet turned walls into rubble. Fortifications grew taller, thicker, more elaborate, and so did the machines to destroy them. Each wall inspired a new engine. Each engine forced a stronger wall. The cycle of innovation and counter-innovation was endless. Warfare also drove communication. Signal fires, runners, and early codes allowed empires to coordinate across vast distances. Without war, there might have been no need for such systems. But on the battlefield, speed of information meant survival. By the Middle Ages, technological progress in war slowed, but never stopped. Crossbows pierced armor, chainmail became plate, castles became fortresses. And then, from China, a discovery changed everything. Gunpowder. Gunpowder, born from alchemy, mastered by empires. What began as fireworks in China soon became the most disruptive invention in the history of warfare. By the 13th century, crude cannons shook the walls of Europe. By the 15th, firearms replaced bows and arrows. The longbow could pierce armor, but it took years to train an archer. A musket, by contrast, could be loaded and fired by anyone. Warfare became democratized. Ordinary peasants could now bring down knights. The age of armored cavalry ended. Artillery followed. Cannons shattered castle walls. Fortresses once thought impregnable crumbled in hours. Gunpowder had rewritten the rules. But it wasn't just weapons. War drove innovation in navigation, shipbuilding, and exploration. Naval battles demanded stronger ships, better compasses, more accurate maps. In chasing conquest, empires inadvertently advanced global trade, science, and discovery. By the 18th century, firearms were faster, deadlier, and more reliable. Bayonets replaced pikes. Flintlock rifles replaced matchlocks. And with the rise of mass production, armies could be equipped on a scale never seen before. Then came the 19th century, and the Industrial Revolution poured gasoline on the fire. Steam engines, ironclads, gatling guns, railroads, telegraphs, 